Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and uh, this is a video on collision theory. Uh, this topic will be on the test, so once again, this is some review right here. All right, the collision theory simply states, right, that if you have the sufficient, if you have sufficient frequency of collisions and effective collisions, your reaction will be successful. And if you can increase the frequency, and effectiveness of the collisions, you will also increase the reaction rate. Uh, we discussed in class that in terms of effects of collisions, that you must have, when using the analogy of a bowling ball, you must have the right amount of energy, okay, in terms of your collision being successful, but in addition to the right amount of energy, you must also have proper orientation or proper angle okay so you must have the correct angle or position okay and you must have the sufficient energy all right now we have um a diagram on this side right here now in this first reaction we notice that the particles are reacting they collide right here and their reaction is successful okay they make a new substance now in the other reactions okay for example this one right here the second one let's just say this guy didn't have enough energy it went to the side to side position okay which is sort of okay but it didn't have enough energy so the reaction was unsuccessful in this reaction in the third one okay we notice that we have sufficient energy maybe but let's say the orientation or position was not correct okay this reaction would be also unsuccessful so these two guys right here energy and angle must go hand in hand okay in terms of you having an effective collision that's successful all right these are the factors that govern okay how your reaction rate is determined all right if you increase the concentration you increase the chance of collisions your reaction will go faster pressure works just for gas and once again we agreed if you increase the pressure the particles have less space to move around so there's more chance of collisions more chance of frequency and um, effective collisions your reaction rate will also increase we agreed that if you decrease the size okay you increase the surface area so the smaller particles um, have a higher surface area that will also increase your reaction rate. Our good friend temperature gives us a higher average kinetic energy if we increase it. Okay, so a higher temperature 99% of the time will give us um, a higher or faster reaction rate. Now, a, cat now a, catalyst, a catalyst works by lowering the activation energy hill. Okay, so it doesn't really deal with um, um, collisions and the collision theory, but in terms of a catalyst, it works by lowering the activation energy of your hell of your potential energy diagram. Okay, so we're basically done. Uh, this is a very short video on collision theory. Once again, um, it's governed by these two guys right here. You must have the proper frequency of collisions and effective collisions, and if you can increase those guys, your reaction rate will also increase. Um, once again, Hard work plus sacrifice equals success. I hope this video was a help, and take care. Do well on the test. All right.